Good afternoon, everyone. Ms. Denise and I are gathered right here on the campus of Stewart Elementary here in Fort City, and it is time for our campus prayer gatherings. We are all over St. Francis County. We're at Wynn Intermediate as we just take this time, take this day to lift up our schools, lift up our administration, our staff, our teachers, our students. We lift up our parents and, and the parents and the students of those kids that are going to be staying home and doing their virtual classes today. I wanted to broadcast live today just so that you, if you're not able to get out, that you could join us and you could actually be here on the campus with us. Today we want to focus, as Ms. Denise and I are here, we're going to focus on Stewart Elementary. Uh, I personally have had an opportunity to really develop some relationships here and I'm so excited for that. And uh, I'm very, very thankful that God has opened those doors and I just pray that, uh, that God will continue to use those relationships as we just seek to, to dive a little deeper, get a little closer in sharing the gospel. What we want to do is, as I go through our prayer list, I just want to make sure that uh, uh, if you're home, if you're watching, or if you catch this on the rewind, that you join us. That uh, uh, the campuses that we're praying at today, we're praying at the ABC Preschool over on North Water Street today. We're praying at Central Elementary, that is down on, on Diedrich. We're praying at Forest City High School and Forest City Junior High School. We're praying at Calvary Elementary and Calvary Preschool. We're praying at Calvary High School. We're praying at EACC, East Arkansas Community College, out on Newcastle Road today. We're praying at Palestine Elementary and we're praying at Palestine High School and we'll be praying at ALE School later on this afternoon. We're praying at Wynn Intermediate Schools and the, the center school uh, there in, in Wynn today. And so if you would, will you just take this time, will you just bow with me as we just pray over our campus and as we pray through these students. Will you pray with me this afternoon? Father, we just come to you. God, this afternoon, and we're lifting up specifically Father Stewart Elementary. And God, I'm just lifting up the principal here. Father, all of the assistants, I'm lifting up Ms. Coleman, the dean of our students. and Father, I'm lifting up all of the teachers. Father, I'm lifting up all the cafeteria workers, all of the bus drivers, all of the janitors. And Father, I'm lifting up all of these babies that's going to be coming into this school system starting tomorrow morning. Father, I know there's a lot of stress. I know there's a lot of anxiety and it's coupled with just a whole lot of excitement for the kids to get back together and to see each other and to get back to school. And Father, this pandemic has caused so much turmoil, so much stress and strife. And, and Father, we, we know that everything happens for a reason. We know that there is always a purpose. And Father, many times, and this is one of them, that we don't understand it. And Father, I just pray that, Lord, as our parents and staff and our kids get ready to prepare for, for that first thing in the morning, drive, Lord, that you will just calm the fears, you'll calm the anxieties of this virus. And God, that you will just wrap your arms around these students and the staff, Lord, and that you will protect them all, each and every single one of them, Father, from the virus getting anywhere close to them. Father, I pray against all physical and all mental harm, Lord, for the ones that will be here at Stewart Elementary. Father, I pray that you will silence the mouths of the bullies. Lord, that bullying will be a thing of the past. And Lord, that we will come together as one, that we will love one another as your word teaches us. Father, I pray that all of our Christian students and Christian faculty and staff will, will have a very dominant, positive Christian influence on those around them this year, right here down, down these hallways of Stewart Elementary. Father, I pray for the teachers to, to be able to clearly communicate the the truths, Lord, the educational truths that our children need to learn, God, as they prepare to, to become older students and young adults and then mature adults as they step out into the workplace. Lord, let their, 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 their truth learning start here at Stewart. God, I pray that you will bless and that you'll work in and through the life of every teacher and every coach on this campus. Father, I pray that when the teachers and coaches and the staff opens their mouths, that it's going to be you speaking and not them. Father, I pray that all students will learn to be loving, that they'll learn to be kind, and Father, that they will understand what Christ-like really means and that they will be Christ-like to one another. 
Father, I pray for positive influences to have a great impact on the lives of this student body. Father, from everyone that comes in and out of this, of this school campus, Father, that they bring a light that only you can shine. God, I pray that, that our children will be able to come to school well fed and prepared for each day. And Father, that means that I'm praying for the families. Father, I'm praying for the families that are struggling right now. Lord, the, 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 the single parent homes that are struggling just to survive. And Lord, you throw on the stress of school and the stress of the pandemic in the school. And Lord, I can't even comprehend it. And Lord, I just pray that you will just, just work in our families that are here. God, that these babies will come fed. And Lord, that they will come prepared, ready to learn. God, I pray for your, your blessings and your protection over all of the marriages and the families of our students. Lord, so that our children can focus on simply being children. And Lord, that they can focus on learning, that they don't have to worry about the strife and the trouble that's going on at home with mom and dad or, or a parent and a boyfriend or a girlfriend. Father, eliminate that. Father, I pray for the administrators right here to be filled with godly wisdom. Father, we, they're going to make just powerful decisions each and every day. And I pray, Lord, that it's your wisdom that they use to make the decisions that affects these school systems and that affects our children. And Father, I pray that everyone that is connected here and, and, and their families and, and Father, the churches of our communities will, will reach into our school systems, Father, to have that positive Christian influence on the lives of all of our students and, and Father, all the faculty. Lord, make, we don't want to focus just on the kids that go to our own churches. God, we don't want to focus on just the families and the staff that just go to our own churches. But, Father, we want to pray for all of them. And, we, Father, we pray for opportunities to get into the schools, Father, so that we can represent you. God, that we can be your ambassadors. God, I pray that, Lord, revival will break out, Lord, right here in the Delta. And, God, I pray that we will see children that we'll see teenagers come to know you, Lord, like never before. Father, I pray that revival will break loose and that families will get back together. Families will heal. God, that, that families will rid themselves of alcohol abuse and drug abuse. And Father, that they will, they will turn away from, from the likes of pornography, Father, and that they will turn to the pureness of your son, Jesus. Father, as we, as we wind down this Sunday afternoon, as families are getting ready, getting backpacks ready, and, and, and things set out to make lunches tomorrow. Father, now we're making sure our kids have masks and our staff have masks. Father, I pray for the, the, the ease of comfort for our staff and our kids as they're having to wear these masks for hours at a time tomorrow. Lord, I pray that you'll keep our tempers calm And I pray that our love will just overflow and that it will just eliminate any grief and and stress that will come our way. Father God, this day we give it to you. I lift up all of the prayer captains that are at each of our campuses right now, right this very second. Father, that are calling out to you just as I am. God, I pray you'll hear the voices of your people right now. God, right here in the Delta, as we're crying out. God, I just pray that you will use us. Father, that you will, you will use Ridgewood Baptist Church unlike anything that we can even think about. Father, just to be a beacon for these kids, for these teachers, for these staff. And Father, I'll just be, be careful to make sure that I ask all of these things in the name of your Son, Jesus. Father Jesus, the name that is above all other names. Father, we pray for we pray for you to receive all the glory, all the honor, all the praise. And Father, whatever happens this year, Father, we're going to God, we're just going to be very careful to say thank you, Lord. And no matter what it is, we just want to simply say thank you. And God, we sit back with anticipation, looking for the hand of God at work. 
Father, may we go home each day and simply shout glory because we have been with you. Father, I thank you for just for children. Thank you for their laughter, for their smiles, for their heartbeat, for their curiosity. Father, may their smiles never diminish and may their sense of curiosity never dim. Father, I pray for safety with every parent trying to get their kids to school tomorrow. I pray for safety for our teachers as they're making their way even early. And Lord, I pray for no confusion, no chaos. I pray that smoothness will just abound and calmness will abound on all of our campuses. Father God, we thank you for this opportunity today to, just to come to you. Father, thank you for Stewart Elementary and thank you for connecting me to Stewart. Father, use me as only you can. Father God, we love you. We thank you. And we sit back with excitement, waiting and watching. And it is in Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen.